Hey garden friends, thanks for tuning in. So today we are gonna do some bulb planting, some summer bulb planting. Um, where I live, I live in the Shenandoah Valley uh, currently, and we are having a seasonably warm spring. And so because of that, like my lilac is blooming, all of my daffodils and tulips are up. So I am thinking that it's okay to plant gladiolus now. Um, I've seen conflicting things online. Some things say that you should wait till after the last frost. Other things say that you should plant two weeks before the last frost. And that's kind of where we're at. So technically we are not past our last frost date, but we are super, super warm. And I don't think we're gonna have another frost to be completely honest. So I want to put some of these gladiolus bulbs in a side bed that I have, which actually I've planted a ton of wildflower seeds and they're already coming up really, really well. And I really don't want to trample the new seedlings and stuff like that. So what I'm thinking is I'm going to go ahead and plant them and just kind of hope that they do well. I'm still learning. So hopefully this is going to go well, <laughs> but let me show you what I got from a local garden center that I have. And then I also actually picked some up from a grocery store. I, that's like so random, but I saw them walking in on a grocery store uh, run and I was like, all right, I'll, I'll take some because at that point in time I hadn't bought any gladiolus bulbs and I wasn't sure with this whole thing going on with quarantine that I was going to get out to my local garden center. I ended up being able to go, um, and I picked up some bulbs then, but that all being said, I picked some up on a grocery run because I wasn't sure. So in the end, I have quite a few to plant. So let me go ahead and show you guys what I've got. You guys are looking at my super dirty steps here, but this is what I have so far. So I have an Easter Joy mix, um, and this is by Bulbs. That's just what it is. So, um, but I have 10 here, 10 of this blue moon mixture, which I think is going to be gorgeous. I tend to gravitate more towards these type of colors, dark purples, dark blues, light blues, pastels, those kind of things. Um, I want a cottage garden personally. And so I'm still working on that because this is only our second summer here in this particular house. So I don't know how far I'm gonna get, but we're just gonna see how this year goes. <laughs> and then these are the ones that I picked up from the um, from the grocery store. And so I don't know how well they'll do, but they're an assorted. So they do have some brighter colors, but that's totally okay. I think these I will actually plant down in my um, uh, vegetable area because I am actually redoing the beds down behind our house and I'm gonna plant some vegetables in there. So yeah. I think I might plant those down there, six on one side, six on the other, and then 20 up here in the side. So let's go ahead and get out there. Oh, also, actually I totally forgot. So I also am going to use some plant tone um, in the holes that I dig for the bulbs. So I actually couldn't find bulb tone at my local garden center. So I picked up plant tone, which is fine because honestly I can use this on a ton of different things. And in the end, from what I've heard, it's better to have fertilizer than not have fertilizer. So I'm gonna go with it and hopefully it'll go well. And if I can find some bulb tone at some point in time, um, maybe I can have that for next year. But for this year, I'm gonna go ahead and use plant tone. Awesome, okay, so that is that. So I'm going to go ahead and head out and start digging some holes up, start planting some of these things in the ground. Hopefully they will do well and they won't all die because it gets super cold unexpectedly. <laughs> um, but we will see. And that's part of the process, isn't it? Of learning and figuring out how to do this thing that we love and how to do gardening. So I'm super excited and let's go ahead and get some stuff in the ground. Hey 
guys I just wanted to jump in here with a bit of a voiceover and kind of explain what I'm doing and I'm not just picking around in the dirt <laughs> um, so here you can actually see I'm laying out my bulbs to kind of see where I wanted them and I will say just a tip that's why I wanted to jump in here and just say this is that don't do this <laughs> I laid out all my bulbs and then I kind of got confused which ones were which and on top of that I had to move every single bulb as I was planting and you can see I started with a spade and then I switched to my bigger one so if I were you honestly I would keep them in the bags and then I would dig my trench where I wanted to put them and then go ahead and place all my bulbs um, I should have known that that was gonna be the better way to approach it but hey whatever I'm not the sharpest tool in the shed sometimes I just do things not exactly the best way so listen to what I say not what I do and hopefully you'll have a little bit a little bit less uh, uh, struggle a little bit less struggle bus when you guys are doing your own planting so yeah anyway but everything went fairly well I did um, I did add some plant tone in the places where I planted the bulbs I would use bulb tone if I were you guys so if you can get your hands on that um, or if you have it at home definitely use that I just didn't have it and I didn't I'm trying not to go out that much um, and only if I absolutely need to um, because obviously that's what the professionals are telling us right now um, which kind of stinks especially when I want to just go buy more plants but Either way, so in the end, just use what you have and at least put some fertilizer in there. If you have anything, that's what I would do, and that's what I did. So, yeah. it wouldn't have even taken me that long except that <laughs> the dishwasher just cut on hi puppy you want to see the puppy the Heidi there's that Heidi dog old oh, pupper oh pupper yeah anyway so as I was saying um, it wouldn't have even taken me 45 minutes except that I was digging and I found I think it's the phone line in that side bed, which I should have known that there was stuff down there, um, like reckless gardening, 
lord I probably should have checked on that <laughs> anyway so I found the phone line and I was like so I took I was a little bit extra careful around that because I wasn't completely sure it was the phone line and I actually worked in construction for a short period of time in high school and I just I will never forget my boss like giving me um like I had to he was wiring something and he was saying that like you know pretty much if you let these two wires touch like we're gonna die kind of thing like we're both gonna get electrocuted Heidi is wanting to come out all right come on come on anyway so I did not want to get electrocuted <laughs> by the uh by the phone line I'm pretty sure it was the phone line but correct me if I'm wrong if you know if you're out there and you're watching this and you know what that was let me know and let me know how close to death I came <laughs> anyway so I'm gonna go ahead and put her on the line but I did want to show you what I'm gonna do in an upcoming project um, and also just ask your opinion about something and see if there's anybody out there who can help me and figure out what to do um, about that so hold on one second Okay, so I'm in the back of my house and I wanted to show you guys um, what I was talking about earlier and see what you guys thought. So I am redoing the back of our house to have some vegetable gardens and I'm gonna put some um, flowers in there too. So it's not just gonna be vegetables, but I have only done a vegetable garden like when I was a teenager, preteen with my family and we weren't super successful at it. So this will be kind of like my first experiment with it. Um, I've got some tomatoes, some peppers, some strawberries. Anyway, you don't really need to know all that. My question is, I got stung yesterday. Here, let me show you. I got stung yesterday on my thumb and I wish I could show you my other hand, but it is really swollen and red. You probably can't even hardly see how swollen it is. Um, anyway, and this is the area, I'll let this truck pass. This is the area that I got stung. I picked something up and I don't know if it was a spider, if it was a wasp or what it was that stung me. But essentially, like this is all just weeds and piles of dirt from different gardening projects that I've just dumped back here. I've already got the other side done, thankfully. So it looks beautiful. It took so much hard work. And now I wanna do this side, but I'm afraid of that there's like a yellow jacket hive or something in there um, and that if I start digging in it that suddenly a swarm is going to come out and sting me. Maybe that's super over dramatic but that's how I feel. So let me know what your best suggestions are. I'm actually going to put some um, some ant killer, I mean not ant killer, insect killer on here um, because I do have some for the garden and so I'm hoping maybe that will get in and like start killing some stuff but Okay, back in the house because this is like the only quiet place to film and I don't have a mic yet. <laughs> so hopefully that footage wasn't complete trash and I won't have to do any voiceovers or anything. Um, I may do a little bit of voiceover because we do live on a fairly busy street, but this is the swollen thumb here. Let me switch and show you my other thumb. So that's my regular thumb. This, sorry, it's so shaky is my stung thumb. So if you guys have any suggestions for how to um, how to eliminate wasps or things that bite you in a mound of grass before you shovel it, let me know. Actually, let me show you what I have and see if anybody out there has any suggestions. <laughs> so this is what I have by Bonide and I actually got it for my um, indoor plants to kill because I found out that I had some, um, what are they called? Uh, oh, weevils in one of my indoor plants. So I got this to put in there, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and spread this around anyway, which is probably good to do anywho, just because the beetles are probably gonna be so bad. Um, what are they called? Uh, those green and black beetles. I can't remember what they're called, but they're terrible here in the Shenandoah. So um, they're probably good to go ahead and do that since we had such a mild winter. But I'm hoping that by putting this stuff down, that maybe we'll also be able to kill anything that can bite before <laughs> or sting before I go and tear up that like area. So yeah, hopefully that will do what I want it to do. We'll see. 
Um, I'm honestly just flying by the seat of my pants here. I'm definitely not an experienced gardener. I'm just figuring out things as I go. So anyway, if you guys have any suggestions, let me know. I know I've said that like a million times, but oh well. Um, anyway, so that is all for today for our video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to, if you don't hate me so far. <laughs> and hopefully we can become good friends and garden together for a good while. So yeah, hope you have a wonderful day. Get out in the garden, do some stuff, shovel some stuff, plant some stuff, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!